What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on, folks? You know who it is. You see the picture right there? It's Mr. Handsome himself, man. Mr. Swagger 3.0. You know the usual. Today, I want to talk about stuff that seemed like a good idea at first, but the government ruined it or will ruin it. Today, I'm going to talk about a little feature that you use every day. It's about to pop up here in two, three, one, let's go. Here we go. Now, we're going to talk about your cell phone. Now, recently, uh, Google Android phones, which is owned by Microsoft, but Microsoft software, basically. Uh, Android phones are going to get a remote kill switch, you know, and supposedly... This is how they're gonna get you. This is how it's how it's put out there to be. The the, sw the phone is supposed to, you know, allow you to render a lost or stolen phone useless by remotely wiping data and breaking the device. Basically, it's supposed to kill the phone. It's like a remote kill switch. So now, uh, Apple has always hit had this, and Samsung has had this. Now, but uh, it, what it is is it's. A lot of states are putting pressure on companies to launch some type of initiative like, like how they secure your smartphone. Well, that's what it was in New York. The thing was uh, secure, they had to start an initiative called SOS, Secure Your Smartphone. They were saying that iPhone robberies were like fell 24% in London, 38% in San Francisco, and 19.8% in New York whenever Apple introduced this feature as part of its you know, the update on the iOS iOS 7, you know, the ice cream thing software, you know, but Google was behind. Google, who has the Android operating system, and Microsoft were not give, never gave a date. Now, it means supposedly, if this is introduced, it means that 97% of the smartphones that were sold in the U.S. can be remotely disabled. Listen to what I'm saying, folks. 97% of the smartphones... 90% of those people that have smartphones, they can be disabled. You know, the report says, you know, that the commitments made by Google and Microsoft are giant steps towards the consumer safety and statistics released. They illustrate the stunning effectiveness of kill switches. Okay, that may well be. But let me give you a different scenario, folks. Say you're at a protest. Say you're at a... It, it turns violence. Some do. I've never been the one that has, but some do. Say you're at a government property that you don't know is government property, and you're taking pictures. Say you're say you're down south of the border right now, and we're all they're letting all these legal aliens that just basically a free border, and they're giving passes to come up to central United States and northern United States, west northwest United States. So you want to take a picture of that? Say the government, you know, there's a, a large presence of government uh, officials there. Guess what? They can have kill switches too. This is portrayed to be good for the consumer, and that's how they get you, folks. It's portrayed as good for the consumer, but if it's good for the consumer, don't you think that the government officials are going to use this on you? Say you start putting, say you go around the president, start asking questions in a group or whatever. Kill switch your cell phone. Say you want to take a picture of a beating at a, at a protest by police. Kill switch your phones off. What if you go to? What if you go to the president's? Like like the president was here. In Columbus, Ohio, literally across the street from my job. Literally. And like when I say literally, he was across the street. Now, and I knew my phone was jammed for a minute. Now, if I know my phone is jammed for a minute and none of us did it, I know the good the government will do with these kill switches. So it's, it comes off as, but it comes off nice as for you as a consumer. Hey, my phone's stolen. What's the difference between now and you know, calling in with your phone or going on your? If you have a smartphone, chances are you have a laptop or and or a tablet. You can go right there and go on the website. Hey, my phone was stolen. What a kill switch does? It gives the government opportunity. Which, by the way, the government is listening to you right now as you speak on your on your smartphone. Um, Patriot Act and all that good stuff. But what it does is it gives government a reason to listen to your conversations and gives you a reason to, if they don't like what you say, they don't like how you perform, they don't like how you're acting, they can just kill your phone. So what seems like a good idea, in reality, is just another government tool that's just pawned off on you folks that seem like it's a good idea. 
me personally, I just I just know the internet was founded by the military, so you know whatever whatever never Apple and all these people, folks. Why do you think why do you think Microsoft and Google held out for this long? You gotta ask yourself that. That's the question you gotta ask. So I'm just trying to hear make you think, but I, I, it may seem like a good idea to the consumers. So that's how it's pawned off as. But at the end, you know how the government does. So I'm out of here. Peace.